Let's take a look at another example. We want to know what is the area of the surface, which is the cap cut from hemisphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 2. Z is positive by the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals to 1. Let's graph this guy first. It shouldn't be that difficult to graph it. So here we have our x-axis, we have our y-axis, and then we have our z. For the hemisphere, we have the radius equals to square root of 2. So this guy becomes as follow, square root of 2. This is our hemisphere. And it's cut by the cylinder with base radius 1. And what are we looking at is this surface here. And we want to know what is the area of this surface. Mm -hmm. The projection of this surface in xy plane is going to be just a disk with radius 1. Now let us follow the formula. The area of the surface follows the double integral over region R, this is our region R, of magnitude of gradient of F divided by the magnitude of gradient of F dot unit vector P dA. And remember that P is unit vector normal to R. So it means that this vector needs to be parallel to our z-axis. And since it's a unit vector, the only option that we have is 0, 0, and 1. Okay, so let us find the magnitude of gradient of f. f of x, y, and z is x squared plus y squared plus z squared. minus 2, so the gradient of f is 2x, 2y, and 2z. The magnitude of gradient of f becomes the square root of 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 4z squared, or the magnitude of gradient of f is square root of 4, which is 2 times square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared, which is given to us as 2. So this is 2 square root of 2. Now gradient of f dot p. This is 2x, 2y, 2z dot the unit vector p, 0, 0, and 1, which is 0 plus 0 plus 2z. So this is 2z. We have all the information that we need um, the magnitude of gradient of f dot p is square root of 2 z squared, which is equal to uh, 2 squared z squared, so 4 you get 2 z bag. These are the information that we need to construct your integral. So the area of the surface is equal to the double integral over region R of the magnitude of gradient of f, 2 square root of 2, divided by 2z dA. Well, do we have a relation between z, x, and y here? You have a double integral. So you have to get rid of your z on the denominator. This becomes the double integral of square root of 2 dA divided by, since you have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 2, z is square root of 2 
minus x squared minus y squared. Substitute that down here. We get square root of 2 minus x squared minus y squared. Now use the polar coordinates. In using the polar coordinates, you have square root of 2, double integral, r dr d theta, divided by square root of 2 minus r squared. Use u sub. U is 2 minus R squared. DU is negative 2R DR. Very good. So this guy becomes square root of divide by negative 2. The double integral negative 2R DR divided by square root of 2 minus R squared, which can be written as negative 2 over 2. 0 to 1, 0 to 2 pi. We can switch these because they are fixed values and r has nothing to do with theta. And here you have negative 2r dr divided by square root of 2 minus r squared. Separate these two integrals. You get negative 2 square root of 2 divided by 2 times 2 pi and the integral now use the u sub for your integral 0 to 1 negative 2r dr divided by square root of 2 minus r squared this is equal to negative square root of 2 times pi and here you have the integral of du divided by square root of u or negative square root of 2 pi integral u to negative a half du or negative 2 square root of 2 pi times 2 and your u is 2 minus r squared so it's inside the radical and r ranges between 0 to 1. This becomes negative 2 square root of 2 pi and if I plug in 1 I get 1 back if I plug in 2 I get square root of 2 back. The final answer can be written this way. This is equal to 2 pi times 2 minus square root of 2. You can use a calculator to approximate this number. So this is our surface area.